Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I'm back with uh, another tutorial for Purple Onion Designs and wonderful product I've got to share with you today. It's called Tack and Peel and it's from Imagine Crafts. So you can actually create your own stamping block using this product and I'll just show you how. So what I've got is um, a piece of the Tack and Peel cut to the same size as my block and remove the there's two sides, one's a clear side and one's a yellow, so just remove the um, yellow backing paper and adhere that to your block. And then what this will do, it'll actually become the cling. So and you just leave that on your block and it's reusable. All you need to do is um, keep rinsing it with water and it'll recreate the stick. So there's a protective sheet on the top and that releases, once that's released that's your cling. So you need to keep that um, protective sheet because then when you're not using the block you can just pop that back on and keep it nice and clean. So I thought I'd share a quick card with you today and I've got this cute little stamp. It's from uh, Stacey, a cooler. It's from Two forests. It's called Two Forests. So it comes with two sets of trees. This is the larger one, and I've got some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm just going to stamp this onto a, a white panel. And then I have my sentiment. It's from. Uh, Stephanie Ackerman set called Home Sweet Home. I've had that set for a while now. It's a really sweet one. And the sentiment says, Welcome Home. I'm going to do some quick Copic colouring. I'll have all the colours listed at my blog. So if you want to know the exact colours that I've used, just head on over there. And who doesn't love the colourless blender? going to add a bit of blue chalk from Pebbles just to kind of outline these cute little trees. And this one's called uh, Shimmers. Set. So I have a, a landscape card base so I'm going to pop this up onto there with some magic mount. And the finish size is Ten and a half by fifteen centimeters. I have some white enamel accents. I'm just going to add this to the trees. I'll just get it started on a little piece of scrap paper. I'll just give that time to dry. I'll just show you how easy it is to remove the stamp off the cling base that I've created and then I'll reapply my um, release paper so that it protects it and keeps it clean for next time. 
another great product and a really simple way to use your unmounted stamps. So I love that it's uh, reusable and when it does start to lose its stick, just give it a rinse with some water and let it dry and it'll become tacky again. So hopefully this has been helpful and I'll be back again with some more cards for Purple Onion Designs. So I hope to see you then. Happy paper crafting. Bye.